Hi there, so another book review and I just wanted to tell you about a book called Black Like Me uh, by John Howard Griffin. Now, um, I bought this, I picked this book up in a second hand bookshop about two or three years ago. Uh, it sounded like an interesting story and it lay on my bookshelf for ages. And then recently with all the issues erupting after the uh, murder of George Floyd, uh, I felt that um, I, I felt that this was a book I should read, um, and what can I say? There are some books that you read, and they, um, you know, you forget about them very quickly. And there are other books that you read that really move you and put you on a journey. And when you move, they take you somewhere else and they stay with you forever. And this is one of those books. Um, the story is basically that he's a white man who decides to pigment his skin by taking some tablets that increase the amount of melanin in his body or the production of them, he goes under an ultraviolet light and basically turns his skin black and then goes down to the deep south in America and just lives there for a wee while. Uh, he um, goes to Alabama, New Orleans, and um, I think Selma, I think he goes as well. And the, if, if it wasn't, if that wasn't, I mean, okay, nowadays there are a lot of social experiments um, that like that, but what the remarkable thing about this is that he does this in 1959. So this is a true story. Uh, he did this in 1959. He was a journalist and he um, basically darkens his skin, goes down to uh, New Orleans, lives as a black man for about four or five weeks. He has the same name, he has access to the same money, but he just sees what the difference is. And he actually goes there as a white person first, then goes back as a black man. Um, like I said, there's some books that, you know, you know, um, have a very uh, kind of deep impact on you. Um, this is one of them. Uh, before I read this, I read a book called Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race. Um, and that was a very good book. It was about race relations and the experience of black people. But it was a very forensic book, very academic. This is not like that. This is like a punch in the liver. That's what this feels like. It's a very visceral book in that you feel emotions and you, you know, you're just not the same after you read it. Um, he describes his experience of suddenly not being able to go into restaurants. And remember, this is before the civil rights movement. This is before Malcolm X, before Martin Luther King has become prominent. This is before all of that. And the experience was so disturbing for him that he ended up becoming a, a, um, a racial activist almost for the rest of his life. He died in 1979 um, and, and he wrote lots of other books. It deeply, deeply changed him. Um, so um, th there are parts, I mean, that first of all, it's, it's quite interesting, the process. But the way that he writes, although this book was written in 1959, it feels as if it could have been written, you know, last week. And the topics are still really relevant. Certain things have changed, but you can see that the, a lot of attitudes are still there. Um, maybe things are different in the UK, but you can still, it's not just, it's not just about race. You can see how hate um, manifests itself with people. And he feels it firsthand, uh, and the contrast between when he goes down as a white person and as a black person is so stark. It's a very, very moving book. Um, in America, I believe that when he wrote this, he was getting death threats, and I know that he was beaten up by the Ku Klux Klan at least once, uh, within you know, t almost to death. Um, so it had a stir then and I'm really surprised that I'd never heard of this book. Um, it 
it's I believe it was reading in schools and colleges in America, but I've never heard of this book before. So this is, I mean, all I can say about this is, this is a book that will change the way you think about race relations. I, I really do. Um, it, I believe there is a black and white movie made on this, uh, which I didn't know about. Uh, and I think you can get it on YouTube and I'm gonna watch that, but I would read the book first. Um, I think if I had to pick my top five books that I've read, this would be in one of them. This would be one in the top five, okay? So that's how highly I recommend this book. Um, what can I say about it? It's not like an academic book. It really does feel like a punch in the guts. It's, a, it's got a real high impact. Um, there are, I don't want to give away what actually happens in the book and, and his experiences because I think you have to read it. Um, but there, there's one particular time where he gets, he goes hitchhiking as a black person in the deep south and he notices that people pick him up uh, in the evening and, you know, pe people that pick him up want to talk about sexual stuff and the stuff that comes out is, is shocking. Um, the way that they talk about stuff and what people, what other white people actually say to him, you know, when they're unguarded. Um, so I, I'm not going to go on about it, but it's just, he experiences it all and he experiences it firsthand. And he's just, you know, I think it's, uh, it's a, like I said, it's a very moving book and, and it's a quite a shocking book, but in a good way because you'll learn something from it. Um, so it's Black Like Me by John Howard Griffin. Um, I think it should be compulsory reading in schools, to be honest with you. Um, and I think if you're somebody that wants to know a bit more about race relations, and especially at this time, um, you or any time, I think this is a book that you must read. So it's Black Like Me by John Howard Griffin. Uh, very much recommend that you read it. Um, like I said, I'm going to watch the movie. Uh, it's a black and white movie. I think I've discovered it on YouTube that there is a black and white movie about this. But I would definitely read the book first. <sighs> what can I say? Um, it, it really is something that you should read. Um, it's, it's, it, it's, it's hard hitting, not because it's really well written or it's got a complex plot. It's just because... He just describes what happens to him, you know, and, and what uh, the experiences he goes through uh, as a black person. And he's experiencing it for the first time. In fact, there's a point where he just, he has to get away from the whole experience. It's, it's overwhelming. So, okay. Uh, and remember, this is before the American Civil Rights. This is before all of that stuff that we see on TV. This is, you know, this is, this is when he experienced this. In fact, I probably, I suspect that this book, you know, was part of the stimulus that created a lot of changes in America as well. Um, but, okay, I, I, I would very, very highly recommend that you read this book. Uh, it's had an effect on me and I, you know, uh, I certainly think it's something you should most definitely read. I read... Um, the autobiography of Malcolm X is always put up as a as a as a must read book. Uh, I would say this is up there with that. Okay, so hope you enjoy that and um, yep, stay safe. See you guys later. Bye.